Roman legionaries built their own fortresses. Once a suitable location is found and the outline of the camp defined, the soldiers get to work. Under the watchful eye of their centurion, they first dig a V-shaped trench, 16 feet wide and 8 feet deep. This is the first line of defence of a Roman fortress. Any attacking barbarians will have to overcome this dry moat and clamber out to be confronted with the wall, the second line of defence. The Romans used many different kinds of tools, some of which we still use today, like the pickaxe used to soften the earth and clear away shrubs and thick roots that might be stuck in the soil. The dirt from the ditch is shoveled into a basket and thrown down the wall from above. This reinforces the wall, making it much more solid. To make sure that the weight of the earth doesn't push the walls outward, the two uprights on either side are held together by three cross braces. The legionaries hammer the bars into a special recess and secure them with a wooden pin. This way the braces keep the poles tightly together. Next they dig holes in the ground into which the poles, that now form a kind of frame, are erected. Once up, the posts are connected with boards to stop them from falling over. When the wooden sides have been applied, the wall can be filled with earth. Finally, a wooden floor on which the soldiers can walk is laid down on top of the third layer of braces. <laughs> 